everybody. It is Cinnamon Cooney and Stunt Hands tonight on a very special Art Sherpa edition. So let's just say what this is. This is a big thank you to our subscribers. Now, I recognize that half of our subscribers are asleep right now. So if you're in the part of the world where you couldn't be here for the live, we want you to know that we really, really appreciate you too. And thank you very much for your support. And it's okay to be asleep in the middle of the night. We totally get it and support it. Now, we've got a bunch of people here who come to celebrate. We are celebrating a long overdue milestone, John. Mm. So that voice you hear in the background is my husband, John, also known as Stunt Hands. And he's been helping me make this show since we started on YouTube. Have I? Yeah, which was December what? 31st, a while ago. It Little was two is our ago. first video. We come back to that. I used to remember my first comment or two. I had that in a file somewhere. So the last time we did a milestone celebration was 250,000 subscribers. You know, I was so busy setting up this video, I forgot what it was, what it was about. <laughs> <laughs> and what happened with that is we, if you remember, if you were with us back in the day, if you've been with us since the little <laughs> two days, we used to just celebrate every milestone. Mm -hmm. Had a party, a little late night event, answer some questions, say hi to our community and do a little giveaway. We do have a giveaway. And let me say right off the bat, it is global. It's international. If you are underage, you're going to have to get an adult to enter for you. Mm. Um, but all you got to do is go to the link there in the description. There are two links. There is a mobile friendly link and then there is another mobile friendly link for Facebook. So you can enter from my Facebook giveaway tab page. That's mm -hmm. one way. Or you can enter from the direct links. Mods have it. If it's giving you any grief, it's probably that you have some sort of spam protection, which is smart in this day and age on your phone. And it might make it difficult to enter. Just like let our moderators know what's going on and they will help you get through. What are you going to win in this giveaway that I've just encouraged you to enter? Do you have any idea, John? I... You know, I think you told me before the show. <laughs> so what happened is I looked up this morning and it said you broke 600,000 subscribers and I didn't expect that to happen for like a week. Mm -hmm. And it boom, hit me with a bunch of subs and I was like, oh, wow. And I, we had missed the 500. Okay, so first we missed the 300,000 and then we missed 400,000 and then we missed 500,000. And then it got weird because we were in the middle of 500,000. It just seemed weird to like celebrate it like 35,000 or some weird number. And then it took us a minute to get to 600,000. So somehow we got caught by surprise by all of this. And I said to John, we've got to do a celebration video and say thank you to the amazing people that have made any of this possible mm -hmm. at all. Because we wouldn't be here having a show unless you guys were here. Now, I know some of you are double watching, me and my mom, and that is completely cool. I talked to her before all this happened, and she knows what was going on. <laughs> she, too, gets sometimes surprised by the YouTube dashboard, so she understands completely. Um, so here we are celebrating 600000 and we're doing a giveaway. And the giveaway is a month of our highest tier of patronage. Mm -hmm. So what you get, we're giving away 10, 10 month patronage at our highest tier to celebrate 600000 and the 10 lucky winners will get access to everything, to all the videos, to all the lives, to the Zoom critique, to the groups, to the coloring pages, to the extra artist trading cards, which is an international swap, and we've got it fixed. <laughs> Took us a minute, but it's fixed now. It's a great way to trade art. Mm. And so you guys get to come be part of that for 30 days, starting sep September 1st. That's probably, you know, I love the swap. I do. I love the swap, too. And it's, it was a little bit of a hot mess for a minute. It, it, well, you know, it's one of those things that it's got growing pains. It gets going for a little bit, and then we get a bunch of people involved, and then we go, oh, my gosh, that's a lot of art to deal with, and we have to do a whole bunch of changing, and then we get better at it. We do, and we have, and now uh, the swap doesn't have the big delay on it. We're just kind of swapping several times a month. Mm -hmm. It's more of a... A rolling swap, more but of you a stay rolling in, swap. You, but so it's it's a rolling swap in theme. So in theme, we th that and way, we're very relaxed about yeah. the themes. So if you're a little early, suggestion, you're a little late. Don't worry about it so much. There's a plan. We're not gonna be like you missed your theme. Your you, card will not be swapped. No, we yeah. don't. We don't it's, do we, that. 
And we have extra cards just in case the uh, gremlin that lives in the mail who steals oh. some people's art. That is correct. Your the, art. We have extra swap cards. Department of Lost and Missing ATC cards. That's right. There is. So I want to say hi to a couple of our Sherpets, Sherpazoids, Sherpanistas that have shown up. Mm. I see uh, Maria Valenzuela. Zuela. Maria Valenzuela. I see Mark Perry. I see Michelle Brandt. I see Christina Dennis and Kelly Grifford. And she says, your fans have spoken. We absolutely love you guys and appreciate you as well. Congratulations on the big number. I know I saw Beth Newell earlier, but the chat scrolled up on me and wouldn't let me scroll back. I got uh, Pretty Red Hair. Very good name there, by the way, Pretty Red Hair. Your beautiful mm -hmm. name. I love the Art Sherpa helping me stay sane during this trying time. I'm going to tell you something secret, Pretty Red Hair. You guys help me stay sane during this trying time. Having a purpose has been... Uh, a blessing in every way. A reason to have to brush my hair. <laughs> eventually even color it. <laughs> has been, has been a, a wonderful thing. I see Tony Hines and Sarah Proberg. And she shot me out a woot, woot, woot. Uh, so this is an Ask Us Anything. So besides congratulating us, which we do appreciate. Because again, kind of pat yourselves on the back. We kind of got here with all of you. Mm -hmm. So what do we have right now? We have over 1,000 free art lessons. That's what's sitting here on this channel right now. 1,000 free art lessons. And we, and on almost every topic, and they are acrylic and watercolor. And one quilling video, which I, <laughs> I we do that, but we do. So watercolor and acrylic, we now teach uh, here on YouTube and on Facebook. We have Watercolor Wednesdays on Facebook. And we have an easy Friday night lesson here on YouTube. And then a matching theme, but much more complicated lesson on Saturday that we do every week live streaming for free. And we've been able to keep it free for the public uh, yeah. globally around the world. And that's, that's really because of you guys out there. And thank you, thank you for, for making it possible for us to do this. Because this is my favorite thing to do. I, I, there is nothing more fun than having a group of friends who come over and just let me mess with my wife on the show. <laughs> because You're going to try to figure out how to animate me like a South, South Park uh, I video. I still can. I can, do, I can animate you right now like, like South Park. Oh, Linda Sue says Cinnamon got her groove on. There's 300 in the room. 300. Back in the day when we would get 300, we'd be like, we are Sherpa. Sherpa. We are Sherpa. Patty Hoffman. Patty Hoffman just did a super chat. Thank, Thank you, Patty. You, Patty. Patty is one of our power patrons and uh, participates in just everything. We do any of our meetups or greetups or retreats or anything, though. <laughs> The retreat has been a journey. Well, if you do any of those things, you know, you'll meet Patty. There was that thing that happened in the middle of 2020. I, I, it was just crazy. That was going to be a little bit plan. of a flu. John said no. John was like, <laughs> I think this is very serious. He said that in December. <laughs> <laughs> he watches these things. He but, says, sweetie, there's this thing in Wuhan. I'm very concerned. <laughs> I was like, don't bring it up. You're going to make it happen. Like, so if you're mad. <laughs> My point was, if I know about on. something going on in Wuhan now, then, then this, it's probably not good. <laughs> okay, Joni Simmons Johnson has a question. Has anyone ever used Frederick's watercolor canvas, canvas board, or canvas pad? Yes, and yes, and yes. And I like the company very much. Nice hmm. people who run it. They make a good product. It's very consistent. If you have a problem, you can contact them, and they will fix it imminently. Oh, wait, who is this? I must see Callie Jarvie. Thank you for that super chat. So super chat is another way that uh, people patron us. And then we also have a private patronage. Uh, we started that just because a lot of people ask to support and help keep us going. Because as you may or may not know, YouTube does not pay us money. Um, there is a small monetization strategy that they have called uh, ads. You might have noticed they've had some trouble with it. And those, it's not a universal cost. It's a weird brokerage deal. Bundles are sold. 
Uh, some verticals get uh, more money, like beauty and makeup. It's like, yes, there's more money to be made there, for the mm-hmm. advertisers. And others, like art and crafting, might get a little bit less because art material companies don't have big budgets. And people forget that artists are also consumers. And you should totally advertise cool stuff to us because we'll buy it. They forget it. So thanks to the patrons, uh, we are able to continue to do this free show uh, every week. Ongoing and, into the foreseeable future. And every day I learn how to do new funny things. Like this. Brenda Joyce asked an important thing though, John. Look, I'm sorry for interrupting you, baby. Don't write me an angry letter because I interrupted John. Please don't. Dual We're married books. like 23 years. It happens. Uh, do you need to go on Facebook to enter? No, you don't. We have two links. One just takes you to an HTML uh, widget that lets you enter into the raffle copter contest. You just look, it, it's a... Uh, poll. There is no right or wrong answer. Just pick the one you think is funny or tickles tickles your heart or whatever. And then we randomly are going to pick 10 and contact you and you get 72 hours to reach back. And then if we can't reach you, we'll pick somebody else and kind of that sort of contest deal. And this is no way affiliated with YouTube or any official platform in any way. This is just me doing this thing. Hmm. Oh my goodness, John, more came up. I see a dancing pair. There's lots of them. Rachel was, Pitto, she's giving me a dancing pair. And I'm very excited. I haven't seen this one before. This is a hippo. I'm doing the hippo, Amber Wells. Thank you so much. Mobile Life Training says hi. Hi, Mobile Life Training. All right. Uh, I am going through the questions and just so much niceness. I mean, like Alice Macabre, and I know her. Is that saying this right? Macabre or Macabre? Let's see here. Let me uh, it's back super up. exciting, she says. And LXC says, congrats on 600,000. Thank you. It is no small feat to be a YouTuber these days or get to any number of subscribers. I cannot tell you how hard it is. I'm sorry. I mean, I keep interrupting you, babe. Oh, no, it's okay. Josephina? Josephina? Yep, she just sent another little smiling. Oh, I was like, that's not how you say Alice McCaffrey. <laughs> <laughs> you no, be I, Alice is pronounced completely different than that other J name. <laughs> SEDT early long time viewer. I've known for a long time, but deliberately creative. Uh, my dear friend, Stephanie, uh, she and I have a project that's releasing imminently. She just had to make an adjustment to the back cover. We're working on that. We're going to be um, uh, putting out a coloring book here really soon. With Stephanie, and I'm excited about that. Mm-hmm. And Net and Voss, congratulations on your 600K. You're awesome. Love you both. Great job. Love you heaps. Uh, Annette from Aus- Australia. I want to say Austria because that's a completely different place. There's several. There's yes. Oh, and Alyssa Otter says, thank you for your wish for me last Saturday. I saw it and I cry. You are very welcome. I, ve- I love the wishes that we do on the canvas, John. Me too. We started that pretty early in. And we started going live and what? it may have been the first video. Yeah, it might've been when we started going live because it was something I did in my own studio practice. Um, you know, some of those wishes were maybe a little more self-serving. Like I hope this painting sells. I hope someone loves this painting, but I realized it's an act of optimism. And, uh, since my wishes were coming true, I wanted to make sure that you guys had the chance to have your wishes come true. And sometimes it's just nice to know that people care. And it's good to put positivity into the universe. Mm-hmm. You know, I just thinking back, do you remember when we first went live on that first brief case of live broadcasting equipment? And you were, you were using those little black magic. No, it wasn't. We were using the Canon old Robocam was our camera. And we had a bunch of old handheld cameras. There were the multiple <laughs> cameras. I do. That was crazy. Sound was crazy. Sound was crazy. We were like in a tin can. It was. In the bottom and, of the sea. And there were fluorescent lights everywhere. I feel like I want to go back and redo some of those old videos that I was like, I like the design, but I feel like they would be better now. Like we would be better at it. I, you know, I've long felt like we've, we were the, the owners of a small rural VH, you know, uh, Television broadcast, you know. Uh, Kelly Jarvis says, I'm not sure if the link is working. How do I enter uh, if asked one question, then froze? 
Um, what I would suggest is refresh or logging back out. Keep the link. Um, it may be, I don't, I don't think their servers are that robust. What is good about Rafflecopter is they have an algorithm that very fairly mm. picks people at random. And um, I used to do the thing that picked a random YouTube uh, question. But I, I wasn't sure how fair it was. <laughs> it was just sort of this internet thing. So I, I moved to this because it was just a good algorithm. But it, it probably can get overwhelmed. And so there's two links. Uh, I'll ask my moderators to grab the two different links to grab. And you may have to click them, guys, to get the full links. To, you'll have to go. Um, I don't know. if Is ModCAD red here? Uh, uh, so you guys will have to go. Yellow? And, I see. Yeah, I'll have to scroll back up. I saw CAD yellow, but I did not see CAD red. I see blue. I see <laughs> yellow. So do, they do, are do, in the description, do, do, do. right? And they are pinned. Here's where moderators. Here's where you can get them. They're they pinned the to the top question. Yeah. So like if I, I don't know if I can get to my questions. I'll see what I can do here. There's um, a but if you can get to right the top here. question, John's going to get it, copy it, and paste it. The first one takes you to the online uh, entry, and the second one is a mobile-friendly one that will take you to the Facebook page. The Facebook page one works it best if you have a Facebook account, and not at all if you don't. And you don't need to make one, so that's why you have two ways to enter, because I was like, you don't need to make a Facebook account to enter. If we're already on Facebook, and you're already here with the rest of us being miserable in the way that we are on Facebook, by all means, enter from there. We deserve the joy. <laughs> but if you haven't already been sucked into the misery, and sea of misinformation that is the Facebook flat platform, don't go. Unless you're coming by for Watercolor Wednesday, then definitely come by. I think it works. Uh, Courtney Salmon says you're the true embodiment of Sherpa. I really appreciate that. You know, that goes back to the day of what we were intending to do, which is to convey that not trying to teach you to paint like me. I'm trying to guide you to your own painting destination. Hey, did, did, did the background didn't do the... There it goes. Inge Tenant. Hi, Inge. 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 I-N-G. Inge. Got to do this badly, girl. I'm super sorry. Or actually, that's an assumption, too. I'm making all kinds of assumptions. So I'm going to back out of that and say, Inge Tenant, I watch your past and current videos all the time. I learn things I didn't realize before. Don and I are going to say right now, we're going to say your name's wrong. Mm. Uh, Mr. Will. Art says, right. I love your art, and I think I'm getting better. Well, with a name like Mr. Art, I think you will. I think you're going to have it. I love that. You should embrace being in art and doing art and loving it. I love when you guys get brave enough to say I'm an artist. It's a long journey for you all to do that. Uh, Desiree Whittington, this is just what I needed today, too. I've been sick, suspected COVID. And I'm finally able to look at a screen without my eyes wanting to fall out. Well, I'm really sorry that you're sick. And I hope that you recover very quickly and everyone around you is super safe. Um, it is, look, let's just say regular flu is kind of terrible, right? Yeah. It didn't need a level up, did it? I don't feel like the flu really needed a power up. We didn't no. need this level boss to increase. It could have just stayed where it was. None of us were really getting past it. Hi, Kelly Jarvie. Thank you so much. And guys, there's so much generosity coming out here, and I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're, oh, I see you, Janet Corpus. Your support I makes it pairs. possible for us to do what we do, and we really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Alyssa Otter says the Facebook group has been helpful and supportive, and I'm very glad. And Angie Sewer, Cinnamon John, new to painting your channel. You both helped me to be, be stressed. Thank you. I hope we have you for years to come. Because we do a lot of paintings. I put up a thing in my Facebook group. I do have, I think, the one safe space on Facebook. You know, as long as you can follow posting guidelines and you're not like running amok, 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 amok. You know, but if you come by to share the tutorials that you do on the channel with us and to say hi to your friends about that stuff, it's the most brilliant place to be. And um, where I was going somewhere really brilliant with that and then I lost my train of thought. Have you ever done that? Well, I like to think of the Sherpa, Sherpa spaces like a museum. That's right. That's what it is. It's just, a, it's just a really good curated space. I'm really proud of it. And we do lives in group there. Yeah. We do weird little lives in group. Thank you for the link, stunt hands. Oh, Misty Tammy K says, thank you for the great backgrounds. Art, you know, man, hey, you don't, when you need trend. to be someplace hey. better, I can't go anywhere. But here I am flying through these beautiful places that John has curated. Uh, so, uh, curated. Uh, 
Cheryl Sussman says only one entry is allowed. Yeah, you know, this is just a come in and enter and we're going to pick 10 people. I was talking with John. We're going to do an even bigger giveaway. If we ever get to a million, we're going to go, we're going to go crazy. So I just saw Trent come through. So Trent? we're much closer now. We have to make, make a little trip over to Canton, Ohio and go see this. Trent site. is a long time viewer and supporter. Trent got us on public broadcasting. That's right. It in his area, Roku. No, uh, P uh, Peg, public and, and, uh, and government broadcast television. So they had a, he had a public uh, television show and we were happy air station, I guess you'd call it. Yeah. yeah. It was a station. Sharon so, O'Brien says, I can't even believe how much I've been able to accomplish because of you and your tutorials. You and John are awesome, and the group is amazing, such a support and inspiration. Uh, Amethyst Rock says, I love your YouTube. Sorry, I don't have any credit cards anymore. I got rid of them because uh, they stole, so no more art and no, no more just art and more arting. Listen, Amethyst Rock, never worry about it. We appreciate. We are grateful. Come and hang it us. out. Being part but, of it is. Yeah, coming by and participating in the lives is supporting us. Um, sharing it with your friends and family and hashtagging us when you do painting and you're proud of it is supporting us. Commenting on someone else's painting and saying they did a good job that you know that they did with us and encouraging them to keep painting is supporting us. There are lots of ways to be supportive. And we do want to shout out everybody that contributes financially because it does really help for the ever-breaking cable situation. Mm-hmm. I don't know who's making these cables, but I want to take a cable and beat them with it. I do believe that 3G SDI cables come with an expiration date. <laughs> and it's, you know, like about three days before the new cables arrive. So. <laughs> Vicky Wineup says, glad you're feeling better. How do you enter? Okay, so if you check the pinned comment, Vicky, there are two links. Try to find the one that works for you. One will take you to the Facebook giveaway tab. You can always find any giveaway I've got going. You could just go by and randomly check that tab because every once in a while there's always a giveaway up there. Always mm -hmm. post there. Um, and you can check that. Uh, and there's also a mobile giveaway. And yes, I am doing better. I had a bit of a crazy scare and it turned out to be okay. It turned out to be nothing. It turned out to be nothing at all. Mm -hmm. But it was a big hullabaloo for about a minute. And just emotionally, I needed to recover from it. If that, if, if you can understand that sometimes when you have a big scare and you're just like, but it's a total miss and you're okay. I can totally understand. It's your adrenaline was up here and your worries were up here. And then everybody comes back and says, no, you're fine. Everything's okay. You're okay. Don't worry about it. It's just a little moment. And you're like, really? Cause that was, that really freaked me out. So mm. I am okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Um, Laura Patton says, I always thought you were born with the skill to paint or draw. And thanks to you, you've taught me that I too can paint and draw. And for that, I'm forever grateful to you and John for what you do. Thank you so much. Hmm. I really appreciate that. You know, that's the thing. It's really important to keep in mind that um, I'm not saying there's no talent. Obviously, there's, I like to say there's an affinity for things. There's an affinity for music. There's an affinity for writing or an affinity for anything. But everything can be learned. These skills are completely teachable. They're completely learnable. And I like to pick it to the piano. A lot of people like to pay the piano, but not that many people compose music. It doesn't lessen their joy of playing different piano pieces, does it, John? No. Right? It's just fun to play music because it's relaxing and it's nice. And art is kind of like that, especially tutorials. Um, you know, my goal is to get you to a place where you can just paint your trip photos or paint any ideas that come into your head and make sure you have all the skills to do that. But it's also okay just to be painting tutorials because you enjoy the process and it makes you feel better and you're super happy with the result. And hey, oh, I like that. And you, oh, and there's a person. <laughs> Occasionally there are people. There's a Fisher person earlier. They were way out there. Yes. Uh, Courtney Salmon says, Rafflecopter asked me for my name and email. So Rafflecopter will ask you for your name and email. Um, it doesn't sell that information. It does uh, protect your privacy. It is so that if you win, I can contact you. And the nice thing about a Rafflecopter entry is that uh, if you've entered ever once and given Rafflecopter that information, you can enter other Rafflecopter giveaways without having to enter it again. So that's another feature that they had that I like. 
And since our website often breaks, I didn't feel like putting the, any giveaways on there because that just seems like aggravation for everybody. We're improving and there's, it. And there's weeks to enter. So if you get an aggravating entry today, you can keep coming at it. You, I included uh, the email to our website, support at theartsherpa.com. And if you have problems, we're happy to help. We're always here to help. Always here to help. Uh, Tina Sheen says it always takes me at least four hours up to four days to finish a piece. So, yeah, um, when you're painting along with me, my advice is always come by during the live if you're free and hang out with everybody and chat and kind of watch what we're doing and kind of take it in. And then when you're painting, ooh, what was that? That was crazy. When you're painting, that's very weird what you did there. Uh, when you're painting, um, like, let that go at the pace that feels comfortable to you. And you will go at a different pace than me. There's very few people on, on earth that paint at my pace. Mm. Um, I'm just a fast painter, and that really comes from uh, having painted so long, so many paintings. So a lot of times I'm just sort of in it, and I'm in the stream of it, and I flow in it, and I, and I go, and I know where I'm going. But when you're just painting along, there's no speed component to art, though. Right, unless you're in an art battle, which hmm. I don't. Honestly, I'm not. I'm not entering an art battle because that just looks like a way to ruin my good time while I'm painting. I'm like, why would I battle anyone? I want to see what they're painting. I'm kind of enjoying what I'm painting. I don't want to be in a battle. The whole first foot on that is not a good fit for me, though. I think it is a cool thing, and I do watch them. Hmm. Sherry Butler asked the very important question: When can you call yourself an artist? I tell you right now, you can call yourself an artist when you start making art, and that's your first painting. I mean, artist doesn't imply that there's some weird uh, metric or plateau or place that you've gotten to, a milestone Mm -hmm. that allows you to be an artist. When you create visually and you express yourself through the arts, you are an artist. This is very true. So it's really just about you being comfortable. And I think the reason, John, I think the reason people are afraid to call themselves an artist Hmm. is because of the criticism that can come from the outside world if they don't agree with your assessment of yourself. That's true. Right? That's where it's really not fun. It's not really us. It's them. Okay. this This is really where I personally get irritated because all the time I hear from folks who get an opinion from someone else who's who's judging their art very cruelly with zero art education or background. So, like, why is this person who has no experience or relevance in the art world telling me how my work isn't good? Or if you could make a living at it. Or, right, that I can make a living. Like, I don't go tell medical people what their financial future is. <laughs> and let me tell you, it's not as optimistic as you would think. <laughs> yeah, really, it's based on their feedback, not my opinion. It's no, just what no, they've told I'm me. Just, real world, it's like we're Crushing all told- student loans, <laughs> I suppose. Medical school does not leave you free of debt. Uh, Ross Richard says, what is the one painting you wanted to paint but never had time to do? I'm kind of in it right now, Ross. <laughs> hmm. I had this painting that I like, the Red Queen, and I really wanted to do it, and I wanted to do it for my own home, but every time I look at it, I'm like, ah, oh, it's going to be like 20 hours or maybe 40. I'm not really sure, but it's going to be a long time, and I've got to work, and I've got to do stuff for the show, and then I just thought, you know, I'll just do this to the patrons. <laughs> so <laughs> we've been painting it. Um, I'm going to do an open house when she's done on the last day of painting her, and you come by and check her out. Um, we had one uh, open house of her in the midway point through. Mm-hmm. And an open house is when I uh, make public a long project that I'm doing with my patrons. So you guys can kind of see what goofiness that is. Oh, Jessica, Janae Messick says, thank you both for being a reminder that there's still so much good in the world. Well, and Polinari says, wait, where did you guys move to? East Coast. We decided to change the weather. This little place called Gallifrey. Gallifrey. Uh, uh, Kelly Cress said, it didn't mind, but I logged in through Facebook ID, so I used the one I had on Facebook, but I don't use email anymore. That'll work fine. If you don't want to put an email, just do the Facebook one, because we can reach you if you're on Facebook. Listen, if you're on Facebook, I can find you. Mm -hmm. I mean that in a scary way. I said that, too. (laughs) 
<laughs> you know, uh. there is a there is a little bit of a speed component to art. There is. Well, I mean, well, like erasing. You know, you gotta you gotta erase fast. Yeah. Well, you saw the remember the cartoon when you were ki- you were a kid. Go speed eraser. Go speed eraser. Go. John, your dad jokes are just getting better and better. Are they? Um, Jennifer Chavez, will you do surprise paint day? I probably will do another. I don't know what I'm going to paint surprise painting. I like doing those. I do them every once in a while. Uh, Lori Cavanaugh says, I'm finally embracing artist is my title, as Lori should. Uh, e-, e. Miller says, I've been cinnamonized. Thank you for everything. Uh, uh, there we go. I love this. I see Lindsay Herbert. And we're gonna go. I ha- I'm an intermediate artist. I I, I am I a- am I intermediate? I've been to two classes, stopped five years, then came back to 2018, and then went to 2019. Then I sell. So Lindsay, I've noticed that um, you ask a lot if you're an intermediate artist, and what I would say is, let go of that concern or worry. That's really not the important thing. Um, and, and generally in art, what we say is pre-emergent and mid-emergent. And what that means is like, if you're pre-emergent, uh, you're doing small sales, uh, you're working local, you have a small social following, and you're kind of working out your kit. And when you're mid-emergent is when you kind of go like, I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to do this thing. <laughs> and you're going to shows <laughs> and you're entering into jury competitions and you're trying to publish and you're getting your stuff out there and you're looking for work. Right. And you're starting to get like have price sheets and to do that. And then when you're professional in and more known is when you are doing that more than half the time so. of your life. Like when it starts becoming more of your income than anything else and you find it has just sucked your whole life and you're earning shows and doing everything all the time, you're getting write ups and you're just super, super involved. Yeah. So this At the is point funny. that you have an inventory and you're starting to calculate costs versus sales. So a, a, there's a funny comment that come by. Hmm. So Trent said, you know, it gets cold and snows up here. <laughs> so, yes, as a matter of fact, we got that warning, right? Because we, what, right as we arrived, there was just a little bit of snow and a little bit of ice that said, this is a foreshadowing. Because next winter, we're going to introduce you to snow. Which I'm aware of. So I have one from Wendy Russell I'm really excited about. What's this? My six year old brings her tablet to me when she sees an art Sherpa notification and tells me that I have to do that one. Thank you both for giving me the courage to try, even if it turns out bad. Thank you. Very welcome. Thank you for that comment. I love that comment. So uh, we're getting asked if we would paint from uh, community photos, which I've done sometimes. Sometimes I do that. So right now, guys, what's happening to me, just on a kind of behind the scenes, you're my subscribers, thank you for getting me here kind of inside, is that I'm working on uh, several big projects that um, I'm either trying to reboot because COVID just made them a hot mess. Mm -hmm. So we have to come up with another more intuitive way to get them out. And I'm trying to launch a new video series. And? And? We have, like, products that are coming yeah. out of our eye our ears like there's all sorts of new things like essa was just asking about like hey do you have any like studio decor ideas and i'm like man essa tune back in in like a week or two and you're gonna you're gonna have some like it's gonna be a thing stuff. And, and patrons it, don't feel left out we that, have that's big right. stuff we're working on for you guys now patrons so you guys know since we're out here talking about this um, in the patronage, we will be talking about all the kinds of cool stuff that we've been making behind the scenes and showing you early prototype stuff and letting you guys have a chance. Because what I'll say is we're going to make a whole bunch of practice stuff and then we're going to put it for sale in the Sherpa patron only store. So only our patrons can buy our really crappy practice stuff. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't you feel special? That's, <laughs> I figure, Look, it's well, that's what only, you signed up for, right? That's what you're trying, but, and they're gonna pay an extra high price for it because it's like it costs a lot to make the first ones. Holly Reader says my little brush wants to say thank you. I was wondering what's on your shirt. It's it's Jared. 
from the labyrinth. <laughs> Very into Jared. Uh, Julie Peck says, thank you for all you do. You've helped me through bad times to realize that I do have the ability to make art. Never stop sending you much love. Thank you very much. And thank you so much for the support, guys. When you guys come to our lives, when you guys paint our videos and when you share them, when you come to our group, you uh, give back to us in a way that I don't think humanity has a, has a particular metric to measure it. I don't think I will understand this fully until I get to heaven mm -hmm. is what I actually believe. That's my personal belief. I'm not telling anybody else what to believe. That's just my personal belief. Everyone be free to do what you do. That's just my feeling. I feel like I'm, gonna, I'm kind of a what dreams may come girl, and I feel like I'm going to get there, and, and then I'm going to go, oh, that's what happened? I had no idea. Oh, You know, because yeah. you're in it, and you don't really know. Can now, I, Court says she loves our soap, John. I like our soap. Our oh, soap our soap's about good. to get a... Uh, uh, it's gonna get big. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be a thing. It's gonna be a thing. We've decided to lean in. Um, uh, Melercy Jimenez, Jimenez, Melercy Jimenez, and I'm so sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Asks a very good question. How do you get over your fears as a painter? So, painting makes us vulnerable. When we paint, when we create, when we do poetry, when we write music. When we share ourselves in that really real and authentic way, it's as vulnerable, I think, as telling somebody that you love them. Mm -hmm. I think you're very exposed, and it is a scary state to be in. And the for me, the process that has been effective to get through that was to just lean into it and continue to paint and continue to share my art and become resilient to that very vulnerable experience in fact i i don't think if i had that i could have done this online thing because this online thing is crazy and the resilience of that previous experience of painting in the mall live and doing things in front of other people and hanging and getting out there and, and getting that feedback that uh that made that possible for me but it's really about you being exposed and just honor that it's not about you toughing it up right we don't get better as artists by toughening up. If we're tough and we're too hard-hearted, we can't do the creative process that we need to do. It's about becoming flexible and strong the way a willow tree is strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's, there's lots of really good analogies for it, but um, being understanding and loving doesn't mean you're weak. No, so it, no. And I think there's some confusion about that right now. So let's definitively say that being kind, being compassionate, being understanding, being tolerant, being accepting, being loving does not make you weak. It makes you very strong. Those are challenging things to do. So if you can do them, they make it, it makes you a, well, I can say from my personal experience, it's made it a more enjoyable journey when I'm those things. Yeah, I think that has. I think, um, so I'm going to out John a little bit. Uh, before we went for this full time, John worked in the video game industry. Pick you, pick you. That's where all the sound effects come from. <laughs> meow, meow. <laughs> Which is a brutal dog-eat-dog -dog industry. Don't discourage your kid from being an artist, but really question oh, them hard if they yeah. decide to go into the video game industry. Some of the best advice I ever got was to get out of the video game industry. John was at a very large uh, convention that was for the industry and talking to his peers, all yep. of whom have published games and are very established. Well, you probably play games that they make. Yeah, that was a pretty crazy day. It was a crazy day. And they were just checking in with John. Everybody's known each other for a long time. A fun fact, there is another John Cooney in gaming too. Mm -hmm. I've never met him. He may I I knew he made uh uh flash games for a long time then became a producer of some note I think over at uh, one of the larger online video game companies. Um don't personally know him, just heard that he's done fairly well. If you industry. know the other John Cooney in gaming, say this John Cooney said hi. Hello. So, um it is still a pretty small industry. Uh if you ever saw Halt and Catch Fire, it's actually pretty close to how nonsensy it is. Um, and so he was there and his friends asked him about what we were doing with this little YouTube thing. And he started talking about it and he started to cry. Trying yeah, to explain to them 
the experience of hearing your stories about art, hearing how art's impacting you and how impact, you know, how right. so completely th meaningful that, it is. That takes a little more framing. Okay. <laughs> so I was with uh, my partner and we were pitching a video game um, with a sizable uh, development budget behind it. And we were meeting with another big company, AAA title company that was looking at, you know, doing a project with us. And it, we had taken a break for some reason and folks were changing the room and we were sitting there and someone had asked, this is a really cool thing you're doing with your wife, the Art Sherpa. What's that all that about? Why are you doing that? And I was like, wow, that's, you know, I, I had never really been asked the question why I was doing it. So I leaned back and I realized we have this thing where we all ask each other, you know, when, when important messages come through, we all take time to read them because these messages are very important as to why we do what we do here. And when I was trying to explain to, to these folks at the table how our lives had been changed by how the stories that you guys have told us, how deeply that motivates us, it I started to tear up just thinking about some of the stories, trying to relate them. And I was like, I was getting tongue tied, falling over. And people are looking at me like, Cooney, what's up? You know, because he's I'm, a toughie. You guys have I'm, no idea, but I, I my husband's yeah, a brawler. <laughs> no. And so they're kind of looking at me like, and, and the room get real, got real quiet. And they listened to these, they listened to me explain how much cinnamon and I have been touched by you guys. And, I will never forget my partner at the time. He looked over at me and he said, you got to stop doing this right now and go do that. And he Put did. everything you have in that. That's the right thing. And everybody at that table agreed. And it was a hard but true moment. And it, you know, it wasn't like hard like bad, but it was like at that moment, everybody agreed. And me too. I knew it. I, I left that place, came home, and, you know, that was at the game development conference. So Yeah. And, and, and then no, suddenly you arrive and stuff been, started happening. It may have been E3. And again, my husband's a brawler, so that's a big thing. Like, if you, <laughs> like I'm always all the time like, listen, dude, there's cell phones. <laughs> you got stuff. You gotta stop. John is John is really there. He he never steps down from injustice. He Some... never misses an opportunity <laughs> to stand up to injustice. Well, you know, some days are better than others. So, um, if ever oh my we gosh. were supposed to get back to you about anything and we didn't, just please write us another support at the Um sometimes, rarely, sometimes our uh, ticket system doesn't update us correctly and we don't mind. It's not nagging. We don't mind. It's crazy here and we're probably understaffed. We should probably have 20 full-time people here. When I look at any other businesses that are kind of like what we do, they have 20 people on staff globally. So the reminders are appreciated. I want to say thank you guys. While I was over here telling my story, there were so many generous gifts here so thank you guys thank you to all the patron support thank you for all the love and the emojis i love all the emojis it did you really see makes the my Terry easily she said i can't I afford did. 600 so i'll do 60 thank you for all you do thank you very much tara i really appreciate that very very much and anthony martinez gave us a number one fan pair see we're just like the young turks <laughs> i watch the young turks and i think why they're somehow my set channel on my YouTube TV. Well, what, There's no, what an is, irony to this because like, what that's, it is, no, see, that's, I, I mean, I like them. I think they're a good channel, but I just, it's not what I want to do with my mental energy. It's a default. It's a default channel on that channel guidey thing. So when you turn the TV on, it just, ha it just, that's the first thing that turns on. Don't you and think we, I should be the default channel on the I, TV guide? Thing? Do, well, you know what? I think you have to like get a bundle so we can get the Sherpa app pre-installed on all Panasonic televisions. How about that? I think so. Well, what is that? It. It's a, How do it's, we do that? Well, somebody at Panasonic has to be like, I think that's a cool idea. So if you know somebody at Panasonic, that's just let's hook that up because that would be a lot of fun. And honestly, <laughs> we could use a break from the news, right? Iron Dogger says, Art helped me get through my leukemia, chemo, and house lockdown treatments in the hospital far away from home. 
Your pink hair reminded me of mine before I went bald. Thank you. I seriously hope that you are in healing. You are recovery. Uh, we are very angry at cancer here mm-hmm. and other illnesses that require chemo. Uh, I just, I wish we were at a place where there were nanos and they just fought these things and health wasn't the concern that we had. And I'm so sorry you had to go through this in lockdown. So very glad that we could be here. And uh, you must, when your hair grows back in and you get to diet pink again, share a picture and group and update us with how you're doing. And, and also, I really appreciate updates. Updates. Yeah, because I think about people. John can tell you, I get up at night and I think about people. I'm like, <laughs> how do you think, you know, this person's doing or that person's doing and, and every once in a while. And I'll she'll... reach out to somebody that watched me like three years ago and I know they're like, why is she writing me? Because I've been thinking about them. I don't know if they're okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Sally Green says, I work with my husband and it's hard at times, but it has brought us so much closer. Sally, dude, you have that, you buried the headline there, didn't you? It's hard at times. <laughs> I mean, we need married couples who work together need like a special club. Because here's what if you disagree with your coworker and it gets a little weird, right? You go home, everybody cools off, you know, it's, it's fine. And you see them the next day at work. And as long as they're a reasonable person, it's kind of all kind of put to bed and stuff. But when you disagree at work, guess who you get to see at dinner? Mm. And then at TV time, <laughs> the next morning, it's just a special kind of like, I mean, I love it. I love working with my husband. Ooh, Tina asked a great question. Mm. Where did you get that necklace? Uh, this is from the private collection of Linda Cooney. It's on loan for the evening. <laughs> Barbara Summer says, I met Sherpa last year at Minnesota Painters. Best day ever. Barbara, I love that. I, so I loved doing painters where I got to meet you guys. Mm-hmm. I got to meet you guys and I love doing painters. And I do recommend painters as an event. Yes. I can't recommend painters for teachers yet. If you're a teacher, I can't say to you, hey, you should definitely go do that. Because they need you to be in a different place, I think, in your business, right? If you're teaching a class, they want you to bring for any day that you're teaching enough kits. What is it, 250? It's You have to be, what I would say, those events, you really need to be a teacher attached to a brand who is sponsoring your stuff. Because as a teacher, it's very hard to do that alone. We, as a, as a, there was a lot of expectation and somewhat understandably to be very chop, chop, here you come, here you go, next, next, this class, next class, next class. And yeah, and there, yeah, there was no time for cleanup and takedown. So like well, painting with you guys, amazing. Seeing my, you guys, okay. amazing. Let me just put it, we're a social group. We talk, <laughs> a minute. we amble, we're not fast. There's a lot of setup and takedown time. Now, this was not a known compatibility between us and some of our venue friends. So all of our community shows up and they want to stick around for a very long time. And, and I want to stick around too because I'm known for talking. But the next group of teachers are very prompt. They're like, chop, chop. We need to get in and get out. And that's so not, that's, that's sometimes. Now, everyone tried to handle that with grace, but it was tough. It was, it was really tough. And, and it just, it just... Seeing you guys best. So what we've decided to keep is the seeing you guys. Mm. We like to see you guys. So when things calm down, when there's a vaccine, when it's safe for us all to travel, whenever that is, I don't know what that is. I'm not an expert in this in any way. And um, so I don't have any insight into that. John might, <laughs> but I don't. But the point is, is when it's safe again, we're going to start doing meetups. Laura Lou, I have to say thank you too with her pair on a rocket. Thank you so much. And Barbara Summers. Oh, wait, you already said hi to Barbara. All right. Mona L says, thank you, moderators. Now, everyone turn your attention to Mona and just give Mona some love. And I'm going to say this because there's a couple people that I have come to know, being a teacher on YouTube and on Facebook, um, that definitely stick out on my mind who never miss an opportunity to support a creator, never miss an opportunity to support another artist, and Mona is one of them. And she's one of my heroes on the platform. Mickey, one of, John is a bra- brawler. This is a lot about Libra's me. 
We will avoid confrontations at all, but when backed into a corner, it's bare knuckle and to the finish. You know, man, that is so true. Let me catch up to the chat. Oh, and I see a roll of things. Everyone's saying hi to Mona. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, Ein Dogger, they keep you in lockdown for leukemia for the first six weeks of chemo. I'm on my third year and have two more years of clean blood work, and then I will be considered in remission with leukemia. Oh, I am wanting you in remission. I'm just ready for us to say that leukemia, that cancer, was an illness that used to happen to people that our grandkids will not understand on any level and be like, I don't understand what illness you're talking about. The way we kind of sometimes are about polio, like to see it be like that. Let's not bring polio back, right? That, that would be good. Let's not do that. Yeah, let's never do that. The, so everyone's sending love to Mona, and I'm so glad. And then uh, there's Ann Keel and Angela Maxwell. There's just people in our community that you probably know, that you see at all the shows that just are always there with some love and some consideration. Barbara Ray is here. Hi, Barbara, says Barbara Summers. And Amy Wright says hi to everyone. And Ashley Reese says yes. And Carol T says, I got my Sherpa soap yesterday. And, oh, everyone is just being so nice. I see uh, Beth Newell there. It's just very good. And Angie Bassett. So there's just, oh, I like the fish, John. The I, fish? Oh, I must have I, some you underwater. know, I'm sorry, guys. It's been a minute since we've done a celebration of our, our milestones. Our milestones are a big deal. We are not a creator. It easily, I think, grows on YouTube. Uh, several of you were saying, I don't understand how you're at a million, not at a million yet. And I, I think it's because either. we don't make, uh, 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 we make these sort of like, you've got to invest in us. You've got to get past my pink hair and my chatty nature and the weird thing that we've got going on to get into the art and into the community. And once you're in, you're there. You're like, oh, I get this. So many people say, I don't know what was going on. I just came in and I was watching and then all of a sudden it was 15 minutes and then it was the rest of my life. Hmm. I think is how we get adopted. But that's sort of like, pass you know where it's like a thumbnail and you click it and it it says the things that you're looking for but maybe it's not the thing and then you just end up watching it fast we just don't do those kind of viral videos like I, you know that five minute craft kind of thing and i don't know that i could because uh oh i see mary youngblood is in the house and karen scott uh, she says she missed Pinners because of hus husband surgery and then COVID and sto uh, stopped hot springs. So I've been trying to patiently wait for it to be safe enough to meet up with everyone again. Karen, good news on the retreat. Um, our partners have continued to work with us mm -hmm. and be amazing. And we've all really just sort of sat down and talked about it. And there'll be an official statement um, on the website really soon about this. But what we're going to do is we're going to give it a minute and let the world calm down. Yes. Because we're just sick of bumping or coming up to a date and then having the world say, gosh, we're not really sure. We're going to let them get sure. So there'll be a bunch of updates about that. Um, it'll be all the things uh, and don't book anything. So we give you heart dates and it's on the website. Don't book it. Mm. And then if you do, I, I, here's what I've learned from this whole situation. Because um, we, we were bonded and everything for our event. Um, I highly recommend that if you're doing anything these days, get trip insurance. Yes. My mom had it once when she needed it and it just saved her life. Literally it saved her life. It's a, a very, very good thing to do. And, and when the world goes crazy, it just prevents that bonding. John was such a sweet guy. He actually asked, and this was before anybody knew that this flu was going to be a thing. He asked if we could get bonded against these types of things. And the insurance company said, my goodness, no. What are you crazy if you don't bond against works of God? Mm -hmm. So that was intense. Yeah, we were like. Kelly got her first Sherpa soap yesterday, and Sarah Pearlberg says, where's the bubbles? The bu We're under the sea. Under the sea. The bubbles See, are the, under the sea. The rays are making some bubbles there. There's some dust. Nancy Bodkin said, hi, pretty lady. I'm going to take that. You have to be careful of turtles that make bu bubbles. And Tina Sheen bubbles. says, that's what I love about you. Every other artist on YouTube is boring. That is fair. I don't think that's true, but I'll take the compliment. I do think I am unique. I do think I stand out from the crowd. When I, when I looked at YouTube initially, when, back when I said, is this the platform? Because John had suggested this. Is this where I want to do it? I watched what was there, and this was a while ago. So when I looked at it, you know, Angela Anderson had been on break for a really long time. 
right? And I didn't know her yet, so I didn't know what was going on with that. And Lindsay was out there, but in a in acrylic painting, it was just a lot of dudes. Mm-hmm. And 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 they were good. They were cool dudes. And but I was like, you know, I watched what they were teaching, and I just asked myself, do I have something? to add to this conversation of value that isn't already out there and covered really, really well. I didn't know at the time that people would just spin up channels based on other successful channels. Mm -hmm. They didn't ask themselves if they were adding to the conversation. Um, But at that time, that's how I thought, because I thought as an artist, could I add something to the conversation? And I I realized that I could, and then I did have something unique um, to offer, and I'm really, really glad that I did. Thank you, Laura. Oh, Laura! Thank you, Laura! And Denise Richard, John. Congrats, Cinnamon and John. And yes, Mona is a sweetheart. And Paula. Love you all to bits. Paula, there's a link at the top of the description in the link right down below. So if you look down there and just click in the description, you'll see that link. This is just, I got to catch up to chat. You guys are so chatty. They're very chatty tonight. Christine Fisher says, hi, thank you for all your amazing tutorials. I found some that will push me out of my comfort zone artistically. I do try to do that. A thousand tutorials on the channel. This is what 600,000 subs has brought us to. It's a thousand tutorials on the channel, including a necrotic beholder from d and mm-hmm. You've done some weird ones. We, every once in a while, do some very strange deviations. But what it was, like, with the necrotic necromancer, uh, de- necrotic, well, I guess he is a necromancing beholder because it's a high-intelligence creature. Um, I realized that when I was trying to learn how to do certain types of art, that there wasn't information out there, like, Nothing taught you how to do like an undead creature or necrotic flesh or any of that. No one had done giant rainbow lips yet. <laughs> no one had done giant <laughs> rainbow lips yet. No one. It, it's so funny. Now, I've been on so long that other people will paint things that look like my paintings and their fans will come and accuse me of stealing their art. And I'm like, girl, it's, not unless I have a time machine. It's like, you know, just, it's like. That painting came two years after and just happened to come from a similar source material, you know, like the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, a lot of people figured out what photo referencing site I was on and they used it. And so they use the same images. Um, Some people have been shady about it. I've seen some shady duplicates. But again, it's not illegal. Mm. At worst, it's shady. (laughs) At worst, it's shady. (sighs) Uh, but it's not Coat-tailing. illegal or un- un- unethical or not allowed at all. And, and if, as long as they pay for the license, they pay for the license. Gwen D says, where is the soap? She's like so about this. She did super chastic her <laughs> to make her comment stand out. Somebody help Gwen find the soap. It's on our, it's on our, um, is it on our website or is it on I Amazon? I think, okay, so I'm going to have to go check and see where we have some. Because it may be out on Amazon. And Yeah. Sometimes we sell out and then we got to brew up another batch and then it's got a cure. Well, it's that's happening right now. Yeah, so that that's a thing. Priscilla Curving, question. You have different levels. What do you call them again? Mm-hmm. And what are some paintings to get out of your comfort zone to test the next level like the Hummingbird one? So I ranked my paintings in one hoot, two hoot, and three hoot. Originally, I was going to call them beginner, intermediate, and advanced, saying that these were all really stages of being a beginner because if you're doing a tutorial or a workshop you know in that sense you're a student and i didn't want to come in and say like master class that's that's an actual thing Mm. um so i was like i want and i also didn't want those names to be intimidating because sometimes people get in their own head and talk them out of stuff that they can do so i was like okay what 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 will not freak people out one hoot two hoot and three hoot i did not project into the future that it would confuse everyone a lot. <laughs> you would have to be kind of indoctrinated into the Sherpa community to understand what was going on. But basically how it works is this. Um, in your first one to 30 paintings in that range, one hoot is a really great place to start if you haven't painted before because you're learning basic skills. Uh, those basic beginner understanding, this is how I load paint on the brush, which believe it or not is something people do not intuitively know and shouldn't be expected to know. Um, how much water, how to dry brush, how to blend, how to just draw with a brush, those, those, those starts. And then um, as you get more confident in that, like 20, 30 to 50 range of paintings, maybe 60, you know, two hoots, right? Adding some more skills, some more layers, some more unusual colors to the palette. And then three hoot generally is a two to three hour class with me 
with a variety of colors and techniques working together um, at a pretty good clip. Um, and I have playlists curated on this YouTube channel that say one hoot, two hoot, and three hoot. I also have playlists that are like 30, tutor 30 tutorials under 30 minutes, um, tutorials that use Q-tips and sponges, themes like these are all the wedding ones, these are all the Halloween ones. So we try to curate into stuff. Uh-oh, Thela Blue says, it looks like we're out of stock on soap at the moment, both website and Amazon. Yeah, it's looking like it. Uh, well, the new reboot cannot come soon enough. All right. Dolphins make bubbles. I know I love bubbles. Can I get a hoot, 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 hoot? <laughs> Uh, Nell Court says, super proud of you guys for getting soap onto Amazon. Well, thank you very much. That was a bit of work. That was a bit of a, that was a little bit of work, but I'm really glad that we did it and it gave us an opportunity to um, do some different types of fulfillment and hopefully we will do more. We're about, to, we're in the middle of really overhauling all things us. Mm -hmm. So listen, at 600,000 subscribers, let me, let me give you guys the straight skinny because if you're still here you're still here right um things that are coming out you're going to end up getting a bunch of books back to back that's going to happen there's there's no way to, to really space them out uh the way the covid thing happened and the way we're solving it you're gonna it's gonna be nothing 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 all the things mm -hmm. so many things and then very short order after that, we're going to be bringing you new uh, art education programs, programs that are um, sequential, that build a concept or skill, that have tons of supplemental materials like books, like other things, like Barbara. kids, um, oh. and that leave you really well. And so I'm really kind of focused in working on that. Barbara asked a question about some other stuff. Mm. But so, yes, she was asking, uh, are we working on candles or anything else with the Sherpa smell in it? And the answer to that is yes. Um, the uh, We're working on a whole bunch of different things that are using that same Sherpa scent. So you can stay tuned for that coming up. We are. We are. It's, it's, it's a whole thing. I and have, and Sherpa and scent patrons, is an involved process. Yeah. Patrons, I have a whole <laughs> bunch of stuff that we're going to have to get rid of. It was experimental. Ooh, like experimental things. things so many good. experiments. Oh, you know what I do have? Mm. Legitimately, I probably have mm, somewhere between 25, no, no, maybe 30 and 60 Sherpa soap individual, um, you know, the little sticks, the, the soap sticks mm -hmm. that they go in your purse. Oh, yeah. The ones that, that are like little stain sticks. Yes, the stain sticks. That's what I was talking about. A portable travel stain sticks. Yes. We'll put some of those up. I have a bunch of those. Oh, a bunch of those. I love that somebody would do candles. Am I ready for Halloween? This year seems to be going by kind of fast. I'm not really sure if I'm ready for Halloween. I'm not sure. Um, it's an interesting question about tracing. Is it wrong to trace? And I want to really say this definitively right now. Guys, they teach it in art school. Projection, gridding transfer methods these are techniques that are utilized because look i paint on fabriano paper right mm. so a really big sheet of fabriano paper is uh especially if it's artistico is not going to be cheap it's a, it's a pricey little bit of kit i'm gonna work out that sketch on some butcher paper some cheap paper where i get my ideas out and put that on transfer paper a piece of tracing paper and put it on my expensive paper that is a necessary skill so it's not cheating Cheating in art is this. What's that? Cheating in art is pretending that somebody else's art is yours. Mm. Right? Well, I've seen that where people take somebody else's painting and remove their signature and put their own signature on there. That's definitely cheating. It might be a crime pretending you're a famous artist and making your artwork look old, like look old to con people. That's definitely cheating in art. Thank you, Elaine Logan. You're amazing too. Um, and if you want to know what kind of easels do I use, I, so here's the deal. There's been a bunch of easel drama in the art world. I use a uh, best easel. I don't know who owns best anymore. I really like Pacific Arc. Uh, they can be kind of hard to get, but I like them. They make a bamboo easel, which is super sustainable and they make them in all the traditional 
configurations of easel. My easel's overkill for this show. It's a ridiculous easel for what we do. I paint 11 by 14s. This easel is for 48 by 60 canvas. It's just... <laughs> okay, so can I answer Cheryl's question? Yes, please she, do. She wanted to know if our new education series was going to be free. And the answer is yes. Yeah. So what we've designed is a new series and system by which you guys can continue to get free art education. We can still provide awesome resources. And there are new ways for you to support us in the process of doing that. Yeah. So we always have a free component that's out there just mm -hmm. because we understand what it's like. Um, the patrons do a big job of uh, helping us go. And if you're wondering, what is our patronage? So our patronage is a kind of walled garden. Is that a way of putting it? Yeah. It's of sort of really like, crazy, crazy nonsense. It's inside the studio garden. It is. It's where... You know, we put all the weird ornamental stuff that we weren't quite sure we could go outside the walls with, but y'all could see it. Figure well, paintings. They're really figure paintings. Because yeah. sometimes Birdie has questionable clothes. We have a character Birdie we paint a lot. I, I was um, saying earlier. Huh? I was going to say earlier, the Sherpa spaces are like a, like a museum. There's nothing inside a museum that you'll see that's unsafe. True. Yeah, it's just like a, yeah, mine's definitely, mine could still probably be on. I'm it's all museums it. level stuff. You're not going to yeah. see anything weird here. It's just nothing crazy. No, but you know, I wouldn't necessarily put it on the channel because I realize we have all ages from all over the world, from all cultures, and I'm just very careful what I put out here. And it's also stuff like you know, maybe that we're not sure it's going to be, you know, like we we the don't good know baby that... Yodas in the patronage. Right. It's like weird <laughs> stuff that we want to do. Dragons and pirate ships. Pirate... The Red Queen, which is the endless painting. Um, Krakens. The uh, the Green World is a new series that I'm launching, which is a much more involved, technique based um, tutorial series. Tutorial. Yeah. It's five parts. Anything that we want to be experimental Critiques, with. Our you know... our group and in our group we do stuff like hey, what are we painting this month? And everyone's like, hands. Then we do a bunch of hands classes and mm -hmm. just delve into hands and go hands, 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 hands. Uh, right now we're painting Birdie. And, and you have access. If you sign up to the patronage, you have access to everything before. So the $35 level, the power patron, which is what the, the giveaway for the 10 people is for, has access to everything at every level. Right? So when you get in, you get, you get everything, mm -hmm. including whatever's going live the month of September. Um, and you get to, uh, you'll be able to participate in one of the critique, the Zoom critiques, where you can send in some artwork and ask some questions about how you can improve it and do stuff. So we've got those going on. Sometimes we do a Zoom class. Sometimes we do a live class, but they're very, they're very curated for that. There's watercolors. There's, uh, gosh, I showed you guys how to paint on a rock. There's just weird stuff. Like if I have a weird thing, I'm like, huh, I'm going to show everybody how to do that. That ends up in there. Um, Things that I might not necessarily put out on YouTube will end up. Mm -hmm. And we do Q&As and kind of give you guys sneak peeks and you get access to uh, auctions and things that don't necessarily make it to the public. Hmm. But it starts at like, look, there's a good patronage of $5, right? It, it, you get a lot at the $5 level. It's like crazy. We have a bunch of things. I see, I see uh, Trent. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you, man. And Elaine Logan. Did we see that? And I want to make sure Lori Lou. All right. So I want to make sure that I've got everybody because sometimes I get behind on the chat. Um, Tia Valentine says, Cinnamon, thank you for helping me realize that we all need what that we all need to do what makes us happy in life. Picking that paintbrush three years ago when I stumbled on your channel changed my life. Thank you. Yes. Let's say this right now. You need to commit some of your life. I realize we may have things we have to do that we don't love food on the table to take care of the people we love. And I get that. We all may have to do that. But try to find a little space in your world for the things that restore your soul. Because unless you're immortal or a vampire, we have a finite amount of time on this earth. And you should invest a little bit in your enjoyment of it. I really strongly think that. I think no matter who you are, no matter where you live, it's reasonable and okay have a little bit of space that you put in and put back into your soul, into your spirit, into your well-being. And I actually think we have a lot more to give others when there's a bit of us that gets restored, you know. And so I'm not encouraging people to quit their necessary jobs, <laughs> to put food on the table, especially right now 
um, when it can be really hard to put food on the table. I'm just suggesting that in all of that, it's okay to put down all of that burden for a little bit and give back to yourself something that restores you for no other reason than it restores you. You don't have to monetize it. You don't have to turn it into a business. All the time I've, I've, I see people who feel pressure to turn their art into a business. And I say this as somebody whose art is a business. It's not necessary. You can. It can be a trap. It can be. It, it can be a trap. It, what's, what's good to do is like if you have fun doing it, then you should do it. But man, it's, it's like as soon as you start assigning a value of money to your artwork, you're setting yourself up for a path of a challenge because it's in no way a measure of art, but the artist's journey has come to have a distinct paying dues process, yeah. which makes your artwork pay that price. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. And again, if you're going into the business, I, I'm, I'm not sorry I did. I've, I've worked as an artist my whole life and my mom encouraged that and she's worked as our artist her whole life. I think that's totally fine, but it does require a certain temperament and is not for everyone. And if all that art is doing right now is making you just enjoy your life a little bit, it doesn't have to be anymore. You don't have to justify it. You don't have to sell anything. You don't have to do anything more than that. You can, if you want to, it's an option, not a burden. Um, all right. Althea. Hi, Althea McNabb. Althea always puts wonderful comments up and I appreciate that so much. Um, is the book you mentioned the coloring book. So there the is acrylic April book got delayed by COVID. Uh, we now have a path out. I think it's going to be, I don't, I don't know, August, but it's going to come out and be out there for that. So those of you guys that were waiting for that, you'll get to go back to the acrylic April Just, with the accompanying book, which is gorge. It's so good. So good. It's just so gorge. So proud of it. Um, there's a coloring book. Coloring book looks so good. Oh, so today. And then we, there's a funny thing that I'm about to say because it just contradicts everything I just said about okay, business, doesn't it? Do you know it? what the coloring book is missing to be able to finish? Mm. An MSRP. Yeah. We just, I mean, like, because then we can issue the barcode, which can then finish the, so the coloring book will be interesting. It's, no, they'll be lovely. They um, will come with uh, a little accompanying art supply, and I'm right now tentatively planning on signing them. So there'll be little boutique uh, elements coming out. Is that is that cool with you? I don't know. That's what am I planning on doing? <laughs> Sitting down, having signing day, having some signing copies to go out. At least the first few editions. Just yeah, just like the first hundred or so. I'm planning on signing. Um, so there's that. Uh, also, <laughs> this is super funny since I just said you don't got to make money on your art. You guys might not know this, but we have a business support division that we call Labs. Li licensing and business support is Ooh, what John It's got a new it. name change, though. It does. It you is. want to tell them a new name? It is the Art Sherpa. Well, currently, it's the Art Sherpa Painting Party Business Support Program, <laughs> which is a little more direct and precise. A little more direct and precise. And uh, that book is about to come out. Yeah. That's very imminently about to come out. So if you've been wanting to do some business, teaching business with your art that is about to come out and you can always um, come by if you want to license the images from here mm -hmm. um, so that you can have your own painting party business. And we have a lot of support and insight with a group. It's a pretty amazing community tips and information and stuff to help you, uh, you know, and it is a tough time to have a business right now. What I would say is that our group is really different. It's really special because we're, we have real people, we have phone numbers, we have a staff that you can reach. We're here to help your business. And our mandate is not to be the greatest licensing company in the world. It's to be the greatest company to help you guys have a small business. And we, so our <sighs> mandate is literally all the time, how can we help you more yeah. in, in the business? Because it's hard. And, and that's really it. Because right. we want to help you grow. You know, that's, that's why it's, it's not a, it's not a uh, franchise. It's not a franchise. It's a support system. Because you don't system. need that. Yeah. No. It's already you hard enough. Own your own business. Don't rent it. Because it's already hard enough. <laughs> um, uh, can you pay for patronage on an annual basis rather than monthly soon? Yeah, if you email. 28 days on the outside. 
Yeah, but if you email support at theartsherpa.com, there is some help there. Carrie says, OMG, my first live. I love you, Cinnamon and John. Hi, Terry. Hello. Uh, design. Uh, Rob says, please advise it's not allowing me to enter the contest. If it's not allowing you to enter the contest, there's two links. Try both. Mm -hmm. If you're on Facebook, you can come to the Arch Sherpa Facebook page. Not my personal profile, not the group. It's the page where I do the watercolor videos from. There's a giveaway tab there. You can enter directly through that. Um, Rafflecopter is the uh, platform that hosts this because they have a very... Uh, they have a lot of support and everything. Mm -hmm. And again, it, I, I made the contest long, the giveaway long, and we're giving away 10. So if you're having trouble entering and uh, refreshing doesn't work and trying the two links doesn't work, and somehow for some reason going to my uh, Facebook page doesn't work, you can go to rafflecopter.com and tell them you're trying to enter a contest and it's giving you grief. And they may even be able to help you through that. And you can write us at support at the art sherpa.com. And, and remember, you guys have a couple of weeks, so you're not under pressure. It's like one entry per poll, and um, at the end of it, we're going to randomly draw 10 people, and they'll get a month of patronage mm -hmm. just to say thank you. Uh, <gasps> Ooh. Oh, Polinary, how many times can I enter the contest? Can I enter like 5 billion times and oh. have my chances? Can I? Can I? show something no, in here just the ones. okay can i yes i have to ask everyone i have found new buttons on my dashboard that allow us to gratuitously self-promote ourselves really can i try pushing one yeah because it also is about trash panda which is, is it yeah let me see if it'll what work. is it is it, says, it what i think is well, it what i think it says you said trash I panda so i'm hoping it's what i think it says if i push this button then it should display something I think that would be, if that happens, I'm going to be super excited when I see it. Uh, um, Jay Salinas says, how else can I contribute as, as Super Chat and stickers are not available in my region? Well, we have the patronage, and that's a great way uh, to help. But to be really honest, also, ooh, it definitely happened in the chat. I see it in the <gasps> chat. It goes. In. It just, okay, so. It didn't go into the live, though. Okay, hold on a second. You stay here. Uh, it says Trash Panda washes his paws. If you check the live chat, you'll see our I have face masks now at my Teespring store. That's a way that you can support us, and Teespring uh, ships all over the world. Um, I have uh, face masks, and they're awesome, and uh, shirts and fanny packs now. And uh, oh, that's right, I'm not calling it that anymore. Um, cutie patootie packs. So, because around the pond. All right. Oh, thank you, Chantel. I appreciate that so much. Um, Donna Ruck says, it's true. I have depression and anxiety issues, and painting helps keep me sane. Me too. Me too. Um, I, I don't know what I would have done if I didn't have art in my life. I think it would have been a very different experience for me, a very different existence, and I think I would be a very different person. Um, I just want to share it because I think it's important, especially right now, to, to, to let you guys know it's okay to not be okay, that that's a very normal part of a human condition, and it's okay to get help if you need it, and it's okay to do things that make you feel better and happier in your world. So, is that, oh, oh, my goodness. Can I see if I can put this on? I don't know if I'm going to mess up the screen. No, the, um. Okay, there it is. There's Birdie. Can you help me? I'm having trouble. <laughs> I just can't operate my mask. <laughs> it's the mic. It's really, really making this difficult. I lost my puffy. Puffy down! It's a $5 puffy. All right, I've lost my puffy, but now you can kind of see. I don't know if it's showing because green screen. Okay. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. This is new. These are the new. They're actually okay. They're okay. Oh, I found the puffy. All right, do you guys want to see Birdie? Let's see Birdie. Okay. All right, this is Birdie. If you don't know who Birdie is, Birdie is a character we paint in the patronage. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it definitely. I want to show you guys the eyes from the face. It definitely messes up the mic when you've got it underneath there. Does it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. What about what about now? Is that better? That's a little better. So there's this. <laughs> I do. Okay, so these were my favorite things that we have done as merch. Like, <laughs> got so excited. We made was, these. <laughs> He's like, "What'd you make?" I thought they were the coolest things. This is just okay. This is the. Um, I don't know if you know about my arting with my gnomies collection. So it's the paint gnome evil. No, it's draw gnome evil, paint gnome evil, craft gnome evil, painting with my gnomies, and there's all kinds of different things in that collection. I love how I'm talking like I'm some sort of fashion designer. <laughs> You'd think I wouldn't know how to go to the grocery store. So I saw, sorry. Okay, so I, I created this monster because I was looking over here and I was like, huh, there's a whole bunch of new buttons. Wonder what they do. So I went over and I started pushing them. I put my puffy back on. You found it, right? It was, it was right there, yeah. Okay. Look, I'm going to self put my, sure. come here, puffy. Just four. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's from our Teespring store. Um, here's what yeah. I'm gonna say to you about the masks. They uh, are really good. What I would consider courtesy masks, mm -hmm. right? Which is that you're wearing a mask um, as a courtesy to people around you. Right? So do not you keep your germs in you. But it's not. Don't like go into like. It's not a an infected area with this mask. It's a M95 mask. Yeah, medical these are mask. Not, these are not surgical masks. They're not N95 certified. They're not. They they're sneeze prevention devices. They'll let you go to the grocery store and look fabulous, and nobody will give you an ugly face for not having a mask. That's right. They, and they serve a purpose that protects the general health for that. Michelle Tucker, is there an update about the retreat in October? John, would you like to give us that update about the retreat? The update is there is an update. And, okay, so the reason why I'm a little cagey on, like, directly answering is because I don't have the official statement. But what I'll say is that we have been in contact with all of the venues. They have totally come to us with a plan that we have all agreed upon. And we are writing up this cool little page that says, here is our plan. And because I have a tendency to say about half of what that plan actually entails. I'm now at a place where I've been told, don't tell anyone the plan, let us tell them, because we're like about to have it done, it's in approval. Like, So we do have an announcement coming up about it, and we have solved it, and it's the solution is Good. to give everybody a chance to pivot, to make sure that our circumstances are resolved. Mm -hmm. um, yes, like the things that were perishable, we. Oh. Those are gone now. We'll get new. We Yeah, we had to, like, we had a whole bunch of, like, this is an unfortunate thing. We had custom chocolates made for everybody that had little embossing stuff on them. And they were really, they were all custom made and all really cute. But what we'll it's say like, is that, here's the thing. We thought, you know what? We can mail the chocolate to everybody. But then we thought, nobody wants handmade chocolate from a, a pandemic. Yeah. We just, <laughs> just like... Ah, what do you do with it? So it did. That, that. This is what I would say. Like everybody else, the pandemic definitely threw us for a loop on yes. our retreat. Unlike, I think a lot of people have had an experience where it was like a flat full stop. Mm -hmm. um, the, we uh, prepaid all our venues. And prepaid for all of our stuff. We did. So while everyone's not real hot. <laughs> so. Give me that back. They well, are very, uh, very helpful in trying to figure out what we can do safely to make sure that the retreat is that happens. And are, also, yeah. I had a really cool idea of something that we can do um, remotely for people who weren't comfortable for travel. Yeah, no, we, we, we've got a lot of really good options. They're coming down. And like I said, I just don't want to uh, let, let you guys see what's going on without fully being able to explain it. So, yeah, just. But yes, Michelle, and, and you can write us at support at theartripper.com for any questions, and we will have that up really, really soon. And I think, I think to the degree that we can all be happy with the circumstances, we're going to be happy with the circumstances. Mm -hmm. 
Um, Cans96. Hi, Cinnamon. I was thinking about buying one of your brush sets. Which one do you recommend? I love your videos. Congrats on 600,000. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, if you're buying the put together kits of sets, I like the Explorer set. I understand that that's probably in the higher price point that I have. It's just that it gives you some ruby satin, some bristolons, and some Cambridge in some great sizes that gives you a nice variety. Um, other than that, I would suggest, you know, trying things like going to Michael's because you can use the coupon there online for the brushes. Um, going to the brush guys because you can use the Art Sherpa uh, for 5% off. Um, also, if you're in Canada, check out King's Framing and Art. A lot of times they carry everything that I use on the show and they ship globally and they have stuff in stock and they're running sales all the time. Also, please let them know I sent you. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> they don't pay me or anything. They're very concerned. I'm not shouting them out. Uh, Barb Oviet says, Cinnamon, you're the best. Love you. Congratulations on your big milestone tonight. You and John work together so well. Uh, Jessica. Borisato says melt the chocolates and have them as fondue kills the virus. Maybe. I don't I don't know. Uh all right. So people are like still working out the links, but again We've been here a little minute. We've been here a minute. Um I was I get, surprised. And, and that's reasonable because we missed what? Four milestone updates. Well, and we're gonna have more for the patrons soon. So in the next like few days patrons you guys watch your dashboards for all of you guys who are eventing watch out the event pages there's going to be updated and oh boy just generally watch the sherpa sites there's some stuff afoot generally watch the sherpa sites if you haven't joined us for watercolor wednesday on facebook that is every wednesday night 7 p.m eastern standard time they're pretty wonderful um, if you're in the Facebook group, watch for those group lives. They come up a couple times a month. Sometimes we do a giveaway like this one, a little smaller, but we do a giveaway. Uh, same thing if you're in the patron group, watch for those. Um, watch for new series coming up, new events and things that are coming up. And watch for Suddenly Product to be coming out. Clarice, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then Arby Kangaroo says, come to Austria for a retreat. You mean Austria or Australia? I'm in for either. Because I'm either. I'm in for either. I just need to know where to aim the plane. Also, I'm not allowed to go anywhere yet. So that's the other thing. I would be planning overseas events, but um, we have to like let everything kind of return to normal, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's we're we're where everybody else is. We're just in that um, hurry up and wait kind of place that I think everybody has is. And here's what I want from all of this. I just want you guys to be safe and your families to be safe. And your friends and communities to be safe and everybody to be healthy and okay. And I don't know what that is. But whatever that is, I want that to happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, giant chocolate statue of John. <laughs> <laughs> I want it to happen now. Uh, Heather K., what was voted for next week's Sherpa as a fairy tale character? Heather, I got to get into my dashboard. It won't let me look at my poll from outside of it. But I'm going to go in there and check it out and post that on the Facebook page so we all know. And I see Del- I see that off Kilter Crafter Ian said hi. He's also my good friend. Sometimes he's on the show. And we love him very much, and we hope he's doing okay and love to his mom and his aunt. Um. Uh. Make a prize phone call from Cinnamon and John. Just think what fun that would be. All right. That could be kind of fun for a million subscribers, <laughs> couldn't it, John? You know what? I, I would say we do some of that kind of stuff, like, in, in our patron group, though. We do. You know, if you're, if you're in our patron that, group. That could be a fun giveaway. That could be. Yeah, no, subs. I mean, like, I, I, what, what I think is, though, is I, I try to think that we try to make ourselves more accessible than that. We do. We we do try to make ourselves pretty accessible. You know, um, it's to be honest, if you if you know the, we have s- such a way that you guys, if you want to ask questions, come to our Facebook group. If you need help, reach out to our support group. If you're a member of our business group, we have business support numbers for you to call. We I mean we're here for you guys. Yes, yeah. we we want to do. 
we're not going to get through this alone. Look, we didn't get to 600,000 subscribers alone. I don't think we're going to solve the problems of the world alone. I think we need to take care of each other. I think we need to look out for each other. To me, that's the solution for everything is just compassion. And we just look out for each other. Like we look out for our own. Jessica, thank you so much. Uh, cinnamon, buy yourself a mug warmer for the studio. No more cold coffee. <laughs> I have one, but it keeps shorting stuff out. Mm, that's true. I even have that copper smart mug. There's, I, you don't see it on the show. I can't recommend it. <laughs> it wasn't smart. The smart mug wasn't smart. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. It wasn't that smart, but I will definitely do something. I don't know. Do, I don't know, Stephanie. It's like flagging you, and I have no idea why. Hey, Kimber says, you've literally saved my life with these tutorials. My anxiety and depression is getting better. You're truly an angel among us. I'm very glad to be able to help. I am. You know, I recognize, though, I am just a component, an element of that. Painting is just an element. And guys, just like we're taking care of our physical health with COVID, I want you guys to take care of your mental health. We're all aware that the virus is out there, right? But think about how uh, we're doing inside too and make sure that you're taking time to self-care and recognize that the set of circumstances is extremely stressful for you, for your friends, for your family, for your kids. Um, and it is taking an extra toll on all of us, on our mental well-being. So it's okay to self-care right now. In fact, I think it's super essential. I want to wish everybody good luck. Um, again, if you're having any trouble entering support at theartsherpa.com, you can also write raffle hopper.com and let them know if you're having any entry entry things because they may have a glitch on their end where like maybe it doesn't work with firefox or some crazy thing you know how these guys all are mm -hmm. so whatever it is it's up for a minute i put it up for a while so you guys could solve any challenges that you might have and not feel stressed about it because i don't want anyone to be stressed it is global and 10 lucky people will have a full power patron membership for 30 days starting september 1st and that's just to say thank you to everybody yeah we we're really grateful we're really grateful for this art community we are really grateful for the opportunity that you've given us in your lives it means a lot to us and we understand what that trust means and we understand i think what our responsibility to that is and how lucky and blessed we are to be allowed into your homes every week this friday i hope you'll come and join me for the double i've got a date night painting first one in a while double dolphin Oh my gosh, I think you can get almost any partner to show up for that one. And it's going to be on two little 9 by 12 so it won't be overwhelming. little double dolphin. And then the next day, a very large and involved dolphin picture to finish up our three uh, ocean themes. It goes with the wave and the turtle, and then it'll be three, and then you can put them up on a wall. Because sometimes I think about, like, you guys complete them all, what that could look like as a collection. Because mm -hmm. I think about these weird things. And we'll let you know as we go forward, uh, as the MSRP happens on the book. And again, watch because it won't be just one. So it is the coloring book. It is acrylic April. It is the labs manual that are imminent um, to start coming into your world. So look over the next three days. Just watch for those things happening. We'll be noisy about it. Books and books and books. Books and books and books and books and books and books and books. Uh, I love that. This is a funny buy mug where I'm just making sure I don't miss anyone. So we saw Clarice and everybody and Janet Knudsen. Thank you for all those hearts and all those colors. And you guys, Althea McNabb, I see a question mark. Oh, where's the retreat at in October? So Althea, we are on pause. Keep an eye on that on the retreat, but where it will be is in hot springs, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. Um, and hot springs. I'm going to say this about the city is one of my very favorite cities. I consider it a pocket dimension of kindness and art and poetry and coffee it's like a it's like a little tiny little art san francisco in the middle of arkansas I will, extra I, clean water and some nice parks yeah and i'm not even gonna be bashful about it if you go go to go stay in the waters hotel mm -hmm. and stay eat at the, the avenue huh? right eat at the avenue yeah go across the street to uh the um superior Brew house, the, it's a superior bathhouse, which is actually yeah. a brewery. It's a superior oh brewery. And get and the then, flight if if you can, if it's yep. healthy and it's okay for you to get the flight. Go down the down the street, around the corner, um, and to the Grateful Head, which mm -hmm. is a pizza place. It's the, really good. Uh, the Fat Bottom Cupcakes and yep. down uh, the street. 
Renee's, which is where I get a lot of my jewelry that you guys like. Mm-hmm. And there's a candy shop you got to do and escape the room. And honestly, John was not a fan, but I was a huge fan of the dinner theater. Look, you know, it's, you know what? So here's the thing. Pre-COVID, I was super anti-buffet. <laughs> and when, We're never going to get him in one again. And when you take away the sneeze shield, I'm not walking through a buffet. Yeah. Not on your, not on. Not on ever a, again. Ever. Nikki so, says she's out of isolation now. Yay, Nikki. That's just good news in general. I checked oh, that out. Suki, the retreat isn't sold out, but we're not selling any more tickets until we have a chance to make the announcement on what all's happening. Yeah, so we just want things to tuned. resolve because we've had several start stops. Yeah, we want to make sure that we're super clear, everything's well, and that's why I'm not talking about it because they've got they're writing up this page that has all the details, and then when that's ready, and I'm not let any. Well, we any, have new con- like new contracts to sign and everything. Just make sure it's locked in. They told me not to let the pangolin out of the bag. So Don't do anything to the pangolin. The pangolin is an endangered species that my son would very much like to protect. Don't See, eat pangolins. Told, this is what happens when I start to talk about it. So I'm just leaving the pangolin <laughs> don't, alone. Don't mess with the pangolin. Yeah, Fat Bottom Girls Cupcakes. I saw that shout out go by and that was really, really good. Um, yeah, buffets are a thing of the past. Sorry, over. I think a lot of things are a thing of the past. And well, on this except- note, I'm going to say to you, you guys think movies are coming back in the movie theater or am I just never going to get to see Wonder Woman 1980? Okay. Because I keep going to the pre-release section on my Google Play and on Prime, but I don't see it there. And I'm just like, could they just let me know what's happening? Because I don't know how long the Umbrella Academy is going to hold me for. Just saying. So so if that, if you work there at the, at the movie company that made that, you can private message me. <laughs> when is... She coming out. I need my Wonder Woman 1980. I was about it. Mm. You about know, it. it's it's you know, so DC has a limited window of success with their properties. There, you know, there was Teen Titans Go. That's a total win. And then there was. Tread carefully. A lot of people love DC, baby. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman was great. So what it is is John is not a fan of Aquaman that he calls Aqua Bro. Aqua Bro. <laughs> he's, he's, I can't even watch you know, the movie in peace. It's I mean he's sort of like you know Thor's really. Everyone's thinking surfer. drive-in theaters are going to make a comeback. Fred, you know what I I say I'm for it. I'm a for, I'm for cafeterias. I, I love me a cafeteria. I don't like a buffet. Like Luby's. Luby's is great. It's a cafeteria. You go through the, the, the people who they prepare your food. You tell them what they want. They put it on a tray. You give it to you. You don't touch it. There's a wall of glass between you and the food. I like the, we went to a, we went to a cafeteria in France when we were there, mom and I. And I wish I remember the name of it. It was, um, Gosh, it was outside of uh, Carcassonne, like a good bit. I think it was maybe uh, towards Marseille. Mm-hmm. And it was like the most amazing, like, uh, cafeteria. Yeah. And our and our French friends were like, why do you want to go there again? I'm like, because I can identify all the food. <laughs> I love Aquaman. I love Aquaman. I will let one cat out of the bag. What's that? So we're going to get through this retreat. That's happening. But we're also planning another retreat for the eclipse. Oh, and you wouldn't be virtually mentioning anything, would you? Would I? Would I? No. You are not. I'm not. I'm not supposed to touch the pangolin. Don't touch the pangolin. Everyone has a, um, oh boy, baby. There are a lot of DC team here. So, like, I like Barry Allen and... Um, as a character, uh, I very much love Batman. I'm sorry. I like Batman. So, I like him a lot. Uh, I'm okay on Superman. Depends on um, what edition of Superman it is. Uh, and then I love me some Wonder Woman. I'm just, you know. And I'll take Aquaman. I'm up for that. I mean, I'm, anytime there's Amazons. Come on. Amazons. Mm. Amazon. Amazons. Amazons. I can just keep saying it until it gets cooler. Right? There's Runaways. I watch a lot of DC stuff. John teases me. You should know this. 
I watch a lot of DC stuff, and John teases well, me nonstop. He doesn't tease me so much for the Dark Horse stuff that I'm into, and he had no idea that Outcast was even based in a comic, and also Preacher, which he did like. It took him a minute to catch up on. He didn't know where that was from because he didn't he didn't do as many of the graphic novels as I did. Well, no, yeah, that's true. I, I wasn't much in the graphic novels. I was I was very much a traditional um, comic book reader. I liked I liked comic books that were well written well illustrated had a plot that was continuing so for the most part i like marvel um they certainly had a, a a shotgun approach to um comics there for a while especially like when image came out and dark horse first broke and they were like you know all the teams and the teams i and also teams. really like the crow yeah i remember <laughs> hear about the crow well, oh, you know, how many was... children do you have says elaine logan I have three three of them so we are outnumbered but now we have an extra adult in our life so it's almost even yeah it's kind of amazing and miraculous to have another grown-up voice very excited about it <laughs> dr strange yes dr strange Karen Scott loves uh, Preacher. Preacher's been really good. Uh, you know, and here's what. Whenever I, I say something, um, Preacher, uh, probably not kid-friendly no. and a Mo bit violent. Um, most of the Dark Horse stuff. Outcast, definitely. Uh, and then, as John has mentioned, I've gotten sucked into Korean comedies lately, mm -hmm. rom-coms. Yep. I watch all the things till I run out of things. And then I watch the foreign language things. And, and then you <laughs> watched all the subtitled things. I do. I actually have started to really like subtitles. I have. I have started to really like subtitles. Weird Netflix movie that didn't get a lot of love was Bright. I don't know why people weren't more excited about Bright. That was super funny. It was like Alien Nation, but with fairy tales. And Will Smith. How's that not like a perfect like little mashup? I loved it. I loved it. And you know what? None of these things leave me. Not even the scary ones leave me, John. Yep. Feeling bad about the world. <laughs> so, I really like it. Even Tiger King. It left me confused. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what was going on. I also don't know why all these people are so crazy about tigers. I like tigers. Yeah. I mean, I like tigers, like, if I'm at a park, like, the, you know, Wild Animal Park in San Diego, or I'm at a zoo, I would go by the tiger cage, and I would hope that the tiger were awake so I could see the sleepy tiger. Mm-hmm. That's very exciting to me. And, oh, my gosh, the one time I saw the tiger swimming, I just thought I would, like, come out of my skin. That was very exciting. Very exciting. And no point did I ever think to myself, you know what? That needs to be my house pet. Like, I looked at it, and it looked at me, and I went, oh, I'm its dinner. I get how that, yeah, that works. But for tools, you would be eating me right now. This is true. Right? Like, I think you're gorgeous and want to pet you, and you think I look tasty and well-fed and probably not able to run away. I look like that animation of animals that were all round and bouncy on Facebook. <laughs> and the tiger looks at me and goes, hmm. She's a yummy looking girl. <laughs> so I'm just saying, pay attention. Nature makes it clean. You know, I was I was just looking over here, realizing we we meant to come out here and just be here a second. I know. And then what did we do? What we always do? You you've worked through all my loops. I've worked through every loop. All right. We love you guys. You don't this have to is go. How much. I just realized. I That's was just a party. Like, we had a party for six hundred thousand, and the party ran long. We did. We it was. <laughs> We had a party for 600000 and party ran long. It did. It ran long. Paintings run long. And then people write me things. Why do you talk so much? It's how I teach, man. It's how I teach. I haven't figured out how to do it in that weird, tasty way where it's like two cups of sugar. I don't know, heated some, and then it's a paint. I don't, that just, I think that works with cooking, but not art. It doesn't work with cooking either. It doesn't work with cooking either? No, no, it, it's, it's like, I think it's the 
I'm going to let you watch something that's going to make you think you're going to learn something and you're going to walk away from this like a teenager doing nuclear science. So, <laughs> like, yeah, sure, you know that some atoms are going to be smashed together, but it gets complicated fast. I think alphas and Generation Z do do nuclear science <laughs> off an app. I think that's on TikTok. I think there's a TikTok for how to split an atom. Well, you know. I haven't looked it up yet, but I bet there is. It's the information age. These kids can convey a lot in 15 seconds. <laughs> I'm just like, how did you do that? Just 15 sec. I don't know. So. Thank you guys for all the congratulations and the support and the love. Thank you. Thank you. We wouldn't be a channel without you. Nobody else believed in us but you. Really, like, literally. Mm -hmm. Everybody else thought this was a terrible idea, but you guys always got it, and always understood, and always encouraged us, and always kept our spirits up and kept us going, and we are grateful to the bottom, bottom, bottom of our souls. The bottom barrel of our souls. Bottom barrel. Yeah. Be good to yourself. Be good to each other. And we want to see you at an easel really soon. <laughs>